the most integral part of the etudes platform and system is the support that is given to our faculty to answer questions, sustain uh, a solid instructional environment, and support students. It's all about how we do it for the students and how they are successful in online learning as well as the pioneers which are the faculty. A lot of times I find myself working on the site in the, all hours of the night, like around 11 or 12 at night, because that's when there's quiet in my house and I have time to sit and think. And I'll go to the users group because I'll get stuck and I always have the users group to go to. And I ask a question and the scary thing to me is that it always gets answered. So somebody else is in there, you know, also having the same, you know, looking at issues, answering questions, and people all answer each other. It's not just Vivi who's answering us, it's that other instructors are answering each other. And that's really, really helpful because we're all in the same boat. So like when we have a crisis, it's like someone's there to help us. And it's, you never feel isolated and alone. And I think that was one of my fears when I first started thinking about teaching online, that I was going to be isolated and alone and in a little cubicle by myself and have no interactions with people. But through the users group, I'm constantly interacting with other people. And they're all from different colleges from all over the place. And I love hearing the different perspectives because they'll be like, oh, I had a student that did this and this is how I handled it. Or I had a student that did this and this is how I handled it. And it really gives me guidance on how to do certain things. This is the users group and right now I'm logged in. And what I love about it is if you look over here in the left corner, you can see who is in the users group at what time. So I kind of know who's around. Um, it looks like I have a private message. These are just kind of like information things. One of the things I love is the best practices, tips, and tricks. I log in there all the time and kind of read what other instructors are doing and what they find is helping them in their courses. And then down here are the different kind of modules that we all use. And this is where you get to ask all your questions. Like, oh, I'm having trouble with Test Center. You know, this won't open, or I can't open this, um, I can't get this published, or, uh, you know, it's converting a question over, or grading multiple choice questions. So these are where we could like, I can either create a new topic or go into a topic that's already been created and read up on it. And a lot of times my questions are already answered just by reading other people's questions. The other thing which I really like is that I can do a um, recent topics. So let's say I just, lo it's been a few days since I logged in and I want to see, these are all the recent topics. And then my favorite one is search. Okay, so I'm having problems with uh, reopening a quiz. I can type in reopening a quiz and it'll just pull up all the topics that have that concept within them so that I don't have to search so hard for the support that I need for a specific issue. Uh, Etudes makes this very easy. Uh, first thing they do is they require me to provide training opportunities when I sign the agreement. Uh, they work directly with the faculty. Faculty have instant access to the trainers. They can do it in person or they can go online. In this case, most of them went online. Etudes requires a certain base level of, of, of training in Etudes before they, before they let the, the faculty launch their, their live course section. So this worked well. Uh, there was a little bit of grumbling. Uh, but once they got into it, um, people who I respect, who including the president of the Academic Senate, who is an Etudes teacher now, uh, thought it was worthwhile, and uh, there was a feeling that it was uh, it was productive, and uh, they were all virtually able to lo to to launch their course without a whole lot of help from us. I love giving the Etudes training. One is because we've got these great modules that are so self-explanatory. And the first module is kind of like just an intro and how are you feeling and everyone's like so scared and nervous and by the end when it's like closing comments they're like oh I'm so glad because I had the practice site and the one thing I come from a child development background so this is kind of crucial to me is that we always teach that kids learn best through hands-on experiences and that's how everyone learns best and so with the thing with etudes training is that we have everyone that's taking the class has their own practice site so they'll come in and read what's going on in the class and then they have to go and figure out how how to do it in their own site and every single participant always says thank god I had my practice site because they could make their mistakes there and they could mess up and we could go in and help guide them. Okay. I'm really interested in pedagogy and online instruction and I want to better myself like I think I do a pretty good job but I want to continue to improve and so I'm actually planning on taking the Cyber Teacher Institute this summer and you know I want to be the best instructor I can, can be and I feel like I need to continue to grow and Etudes offers that kind of training which is 
I think a real benefit. Cyber Teacher Institute is really, really useful because it includes a lot of information, a lot of uh, really good, solid studies about online teaching. So about how effective it is, about what the drop rate is compared to regular face-to-face uh, -face teaching, um, just a whole lot of uh, useful resources. And then you get to try things out too. I took it to help me become comfortable in the etude system because I felt that the three weeks the three weeks was good it got me started but I really wanted to know everything so it allowed me to work within the system just like I was a student I mean I was a student and you get to meet a lot of your colleagues and peers not your face-to-face -face colleagues but your online colleagues people that I would then see in the users group too and also, the other thing I liked about it was um, um, I was able to have my peers critique my class. So there were a couple of assignments, and they were optional. I mean, you don't have to open your class to anyone, but I chose to. And I got some really good critiques. really helped me. Everybody who goes through the training at our college comes back saying, I get it, I know what I need to do, I know how to load my content into the shell, and I'm ready to do it. And they know that there are people, real people, that are behind the scenes that are going to respond to their emails, talk to them, call them up on the phone if they need to, and respond to the instructor needs. I think online instruction generally is perfect for teaching reading and writing because students have to write and then read and write some more. So they're actually getting practice and the, the built-in audience is the magic feature because in a classroom students tend to work basically for themselves and the professor but because everything is done by text online they're actually writing for their classmates. The, if their expression isn't clear, people are going to say, hey, wait a minute, what exactly did you mean? I use the, all of the basic tools. Um, I start everything out in modules. What I've um, devised to help them out is a week at a glance. It's, it's the first document in um, every week's modules. And there I've got a template that lays everything out, um, what lessons they should be reading in the modules, their textbook readings, discussions, assignments, test center, etc. We have already done 18 uh, assignments have been posted for them. This is my developmental class. By the end of the semester, we'll probably be at 43. And, and this includes everything from uh, little exercises that are very easy to do to their uh, papers that they have to write. A lot of my students have commented in the reflective writing that I require them to do, midterm and uh, final, that they really like that they have to put up the pictures even though they moaned and groaned about having to select an avatar and go through that procedure. They find that having pictures of their classmates gives them a sense that we're real people, it's not just disembodied um, text that comes through. And they actually end up saying, I made friends in the class, which is wonderful, especially since it's a writing class. Writing, whether you were doing it online or in a regular class, is tough work. They attach their papers as, um, their, their drafts as papers to the um, discussion, and then the students download and upload a response form that I have designed for them. They just fill in. It's, it's a way that I guide their actual response to the student writing and then after they do this they revise and then turn in the second draft to me through assignments. I'm arranging for telephone conferences with all of my students right now. I want to talk to each of them individually and the wiki is a great way for doing that scheduling. Technical support um, other than the Etudes users group, I haven't needed it. I mean Etudes work so so well now. 
I mean, it wasn't always like that. I remember the first semester with NG, it was beta testing. But at any rate, it's now working very, very smoothly. So I haven't needed a, a lot of technical support, but every once in a while if things go awry that I find help with Etudes users. We ask, we say, I want to do, be able to do this. And um, Etudes has listened, like for example, the new test center has improved on the old um, tests and quizzes so much. It's, it's so much easier. I just discovered the um, data summary in the new test center. And I think it's absolutely marvelous. I, I just finished a training session here on campus with our faculty. And we now have all of their uh, final thoughts and closures comments, which as I pointed out to uh, my co-trainer Jim Martini, is a marvelous workshop evaluation right there. He can share that with um, the powers that be here to, to show them how successful it was, and it's great feedback for us. So as a distance ed coordinator, I um, am so thrilled to be with Etudes. We've had a vote a couple times in terms of changing course management systems, and I've been the one that's really been, we need to stay with Etudes, we need to stay with Etudes, specifically because as a coordinator, I love the support that all the faculty get. Even though I am very available to them, the fact that they can go into the users group and get help and guidance on their own makes such a huge difference in my life. I provide support to faculty and I provide support to students and I provide training and I also still teach. So having faculty have the ability to have their questions answered through outside support is so crucial and it really makes your life a lot easier. I know that another college near us is spending $300,000 on their CMS and so when my college is like, well, this is costing a bit, it really is not. In fact, we were just in a meeting a couple weeks ago with two vice presidents, and they even admitted it, Etudes does not cost that much compared to the photography programs that they're buying, the math programs that they're buying, the, um, the journalism programs that they're buying. There's, we spend a lot of money on software, and so we do need to spend money on course management systems. These are bringing in a lot of money for our colleges right now. Online instruction is great for faculty and students. They love it, all of them but it's a high maintenance proposition. Uh, a lot of the students will be online at hours when I don't have staff and are going to be asking for technical and, and other kinds of help when I don't have staff. Uh, and my systems, my network systems, uh, aren't built to deliver five nines of reliability on a 24 by seven basis. That's the risk. Etudes has been an amazing product. I've been doing distance learning since the early 70s and, and I've been doing uh, online learning for the last 10 years and uh, I've noticed that schools who try to host themselves s sometimes struggle. So with Etudes, um, I don't worry. It's, it, they're on a secure site. They're available. We've been with them now for a year. Uh, there's been no downtime. There's no glitches. Uh, I don't get any complaints, so that's a good thing for me. Uh, the other thing that attracted us to Etudes um, is the cost point. Um, because it's a consortium, the membership isn't in the business of making money on the product the way a business would. Uh, the consortium is in the business of trying to cover their costs and, and take care of COLA issues and grow the system. So it's a little bit like owning a, condo a condominium. Uh, we charge what is needed to make the thing sustainable. And so that means from Al Camino's point of view, we're going to spend less than we would uh, with a commercial vendor such as Blackboard. In fact, we're going to spend a lot less. Our college was on the brink of culminating three years of declining enrollment, which was very scary for us as a California community college. Other California community colleges were also there. And it was apparent that one of the markets that we were not in touch with at all was our online student market. The difficulty as a small community college was, it was impossible for us to think of going with 
one of the large providers in a course management system. We absolutely did not have the resources, nor did the declining enrollment situation make it that even a viable option. When our college decided to go with etudes, we not only got the big college support network, but we got a price that was affordable for our college to move students ahead. And we are now in the thousands of students who are studying online with our college with etudes. We were able to turn the college enrollment around as well as provide the type of diverse learning environment that students are begging for, maybe screaming for. So for us, ATUDS was more than just a course management system. It was the answer to our needs. It was the answer to quality assurance for our faculty that are new at online instruction and for our students that are new. So it answered so many different questions at a price that we could afford.